Hello guys, welcome to video number three. Let's build an awesome electric mounting board. Video number one, all the parts that I'm gonna use on my build. Video number two, making a deck carbon fiber, real carbon fiber, without spending hours and hours doing so. So video number three is customizing a bottom of my deck. I love this deck in, in general, but I do not like the graphics. So today we're going to change this, and this is how I'm going to do this. So for the bottom of the deck, I want to have something personalized, something that I do like, something that does match my build. As I mentioned, my build will be in blue tone, in blue colors, so I need something to match it. And unfortunately, Hyra Bro does not really replicate what I want. So, we're going to simply wrap the bottom of the deck with vinyl. Vinyl wrap that I do like because, well, I just like it. But then, we're going to make it much, much more durable than just the vinyl. So stay tuned. Now, I'm going to speed up this video just to show you how I'm going to apply this simple thing. So the vinyl is now applied, the surface of the deck is not 100% smooth. That's why vinyl was quite hard to put on, a lot of air bubbles want to come in. There are tiny few creases, but all in general, actually looks quite nice and very special. So next step, we're going to cut all the excess vinyl off to release it, and then we're going to try to get quite a few other creases out. to get a perfect edge like this from edge like that what you do is use the 80 grip sandpaper keep it at the correct angle and send off the bits you not require so let me show you this is where it turns that's the edge of the deck we're going to start sending it down. It breaks through the vinyl. And it gives you that perfect edge. And then just to finish this off, a bit of 180. And this is perfect because it takes away any sharp edges that could potentially lift vinyl off your deck. Now, 
let's finish off all the way around okay guys so next day I've made sure that the vinyl sets in nicely it looks really really nice but it's not yet finished and now we're going to step it up we're going to protect this vinyl so if you're happy with what you've done and um, well normally normally next step requires for the surface to be absolutely perfect yeah but because the deck itself or at least the one I'm using has like a texture to the surface it does have little ripples so the quality of the next step will not be 100% but still going to be good enough and definitely going to protect the vinyl I have applied which I like very much bear in mind that you're going to have your trucks mounted at the front and also at the back so a lot of space of the bottom will be taken up by the uh, base plate and the only time you see the bottom of the deck is when you pick it up but you still want to do as best job as you can obviously so what we're going to use for the next step is the rhino skin that's pretty much a really thick see-through vinyl which is used for uh, normally like cars you can use it in like bumpers of the car or any surfaces that will get scratched up doorsteps whatever so rhino skin is a brand name but you can get yourself a much cheaper version obviously from uh, mother china and this here is from um, ebay i'm sure it is and you get a quite a big roll you have to wait for it a little bit but it does come through in end so it's a see-through film but it's the same material as they use for the cell phone uh, screen covers so it kind of scratch resistant and blah 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 so we're going to now apply this over the vinyl to protect it from all this heavy use and off-roading which I'm sure you're gonna do if you follow the tutorials how to build an awesome electric mountain board now we're going to speed this all up watch what I'm doing repeat well and hopefully you like the results so normally guys there are two layers over the actual uh, protective film one is just a protective layer this is stopping all the you know scratches while you're trying to apply the other side is the plastic that exposes the sticky side of the tape of this vinyl so you want to establish which one is which obviously turn it around the right way and now we're going to apply it And now exactly the same as we're done with the vinyl. Cut the excess off and sand down all the edges to make it nice and neat. 